Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. I'll tell you, this entire hour has been about investment property here in North Texas. This great company, Real Estate Concierge, has really done all the homework to try to make you successful when buying rental income. Did I say that right, Heather? Buying rental property. Income. Income. Rental properties. Yeah. Creating there rental There you income. go. Okay. 855-732-6700. Yeah, you're right. 855-732-6700. I did not say that right. So, Heather. Yes. In this last segment, you've got a few things you want to talk about. Let's, let's, let's get through that. Okay. So, just to, just a quick recap on the leasing and property management. A couple, couple last little things that we didn't get to in the last segment, but since people have so many questions on that, I just wanted to say those last few things and the things you need to look for, because if you don't become our client, it's still important that you understand this, because that's how you succeed. That's one of the main ways you succeed, is you find that right leaderships and the leasing and property management. So, I have to just tell our listeners out there in case they decide to just kind of go at this like without using RAC. But so remember, it's the eight to ten percent per month and the property management fee, eighty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. percent to a hundred leasing fee, one time fee. Well, per tenant, yeah, per tenant. You go get a tenant, and they want to rent my property. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay them eighty percent of the first month's rent, or hunt up to a hundred. All right. So if I'm renting for fifteen hundred bucks, yeah. To me, that's fair since you found the tenant mm -hmm. that's probably going to sign a year or two year long year lease, and you went and found them, you qualified them, and that's the cost of doing business. That's right, of course, and uh, and that should that should at least get you a year. We like to see it get you more because mm -hmm. that increases mm -hmm. the numbers, right? Sure. Um, so that's another key component when you look for property. You want to look for property where you have long term tenants. Um, and then um, the possible 10% markup on repairs, eviction fees, potentially mm -hmm. renewal fees. And then another thing is, too, like... Let me I, ask you this real what? quickly. What? I don't think I interrupted you, but I think I just interrupted you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. When they come and rent from me, yes. they're going to put first and last month's rent as a deposit, correct? No. Where did all that come from? It's a falsehood. It is. In the state of Texas, you cannot and you don't collect the last month of rent. Really? That's Do you correct. put a deposit up? Yes. That you, you have to put that up in case you go in there and rip the sheetrock out in my Absolutely. house. Absolutely. Right? And that's typically the equivalent of one month's rent. So okay. going back to that $1,500 amount, okay. that's $1,500. bucks. But if you have bad credit, what's bad credit? Typically below a 680 if yeah. you have any evictions. Wow, I got really bad credit. Hey, and then that interesting. Typically below 680 is what a lot of landlords consider bad credit, but That's can amazing. you buy a house at 580? Lower yeah, than. okay. So anyway, um, but you want to confirm they've got, you know, some certifications, right? The Texas um, Residential Property Manager and the Texas Certified Leasing Specialist, those are two that help you understand, like, do these people know what the heck they're doing? And have they at least read the dang property code because in those certifications? Yeah, well, here's the way you get around that. What? Uh, you call Real Estate Concierge at 855-732-6700. That's right. Um, and we I guarantee you, you, they know what the heck they're doing. Yeah, we do. And we believe in like, I mean, I'm just a big, big, big believer. And uh, Jessica is too. This is how we, this is how we, we bring teammates on the team. This is how we lead. And this, and we just, we don't like to teach people stuff that we don't know or believe in. And so I couldn't teach people about the power of property management and leasing if I don't have an experience in it. So You got it. So, you know, it's really important that we understand that. But the last, so the last part we want to talk about here in segment four is the after piece, right? So a lot of times in our business real estate, it's it's all about the front end. It's all about start, buy, and close. And then that's it, right? But our whole mission statement here at Real Estate Concierge is going beyond the transaction. Defining the end. Well, yes, defining the end and, yeah. and going beyond that end, right? Because we never really think it ends. Because when we help people build these plans, I mean, they're 10, 20, 30-year plans. So it doesn't end on the day we close. That's actually the beginning. No, no, no. The defining the end of when the property gets paid off by other people. There you money. go. That's right. And 10 years down the line, uh -huh. it's been appreciating. Somebody else has been paying for it. And yeah. now you're 65 years old and you want to retire and you sell yeah. that puppy through real estate concierge. That's right. And you got about, mm, I don't know, $400,000 cash 
on one property, on one property. that somebody rented from you. That's did right. I say that right? You sure did, Willie. The yeah. magic of investing, right? That's, that's now, right. Now, if you have that going times 10, yeah. that's $4 million. I don't know about y'all, but I need hey, time for me. I could do. I could do that. Jess, could you do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, um, so this is so one of the things we do with the aftercare piece, like our, we we help people become home smart, and we do this for all of our clients. But for again investors, there's an extra piece of it there. So Jessica helps create these, and um, she does a really great job of it. But um, Jess, what do you do for our one year like check in piece? Well, we kind of look back. Um, you know what they bought the house for and then we kind of do a recheck just like you would if you were selling kind of looking at the the current comparable properties and seeing what the house is worth now so we can kind of get an idea how much have you gained already in just a mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. yeah um, are we on track and they can kind of um, look at that and then we also kind of help them think through okay have we been doing our checks on like the ac have we been um you know caring for the roof like have we how are we caring for the property in a way that's nurturing kind of our investment and helping maintain it so that the value is there as well? And whether that's, you know, personal homeowner or investor, you need to, you know, make sure those things are. Yeah, I, I think that's really a great service because we as investment uh, out, of, out of sight, out of mind mm -hmm. owners mm -hmm. don't realize as that property is appreciating, there's some due diligence you have to do along the way so that the asset keeps up with appreciation, meaning you can't have a, dil a dilapidated roof on there. That's right. You can't, you know, you can't have an air conditioner that's on this last leg, and if it appreciated 10 15% in a year and you wanted to rid that asset, those have to be maintained in order to keep up with the property well yeah and that's true but like again it's another gray area because sometimes when you have a c or d property or a b property i mean it's all about the strategy right like if mm -hmm. we i mean if the roof's leaking yes but if the roof just has granulated shingles and it's time to replace no but on the a property maybe mm -hmm. you do because mm -hmm. you're charging three thousand dollars in rent and that's what the client expects mm -hmm. you know not yeah. to say that the bc clients don't expect that i mean they're wonderful i, I it's probably my main favorite part but um, but it's all about, um, like if the HOA has a requirement, but you mm -hmm. know, so there's so many ways to analyze this stuff. And so it's an ongoing conversation, Willie. I just can't express to you. Like it's a never, we never talk about it once and we're done. Yeah. You can't do it in an yeah. hour long radio program. No, no. This is, this is way, I, way more. I, I, I gotta tell you, yeah. um, the one thing that I have taken from this hour and I'm fixing to have to wrap this hour up is that if you are been listening to CNN and Fox News and how real estate is on the move here in North Texas mm -hmm. and you're moving here or thinking about investing here, I want you to call Real Estate Concierge. They are boots on the ground and can help you uh, with their forward way of thinking and analyzing an asset uh, through real estate. All you got to do is reach out to them. 855 or 855-732-6700. Again, 855-732-6700. Heather, Jessica, I think in doing so, you have to have a strategy going into investment property. Mm -hmm. And a team is so important around you in order to maintain that asset where it's not a headache to you in your life. That's and, right. And so that's yeah. what I think I got today. That's exactly right. And it is a, it can be a dirty job, you know, yeah. it really can. But, yeah. um, but that's even more important why you have to have somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah. Why, wanna... why let them, why let that company learn on you or dying? Yeah. Why would you do that? Go to somebody that knows what they're doing. And, and again, regardless it's us or not, I hope this show helped anybody out there that's interested make better decisions. And, I think it did. And use us or don't. Use us this time or use us next time or we'll be around in 10 years. You know, yeah. we, we want to help you whenever you're ready. Heather, I want to thank you. I want to thank Jessica for coming in this Saturday night to Real Estate Talk. Indeed, real estate does change people's lives to the good. It's not what you know, it's who you know. When it comes to uh, residential real estate, whether it be primary or uh, investment property, I want you to reach out to my friends over at Real Estate Concierge. They're the forward-thinking 
real estate company for you and your family. 855-732-6700. Again, 855-732-6700. Or you can simply go to owntx.us. I want to thank you, my listener, for sticking around with me two hours here this Saturday night. And I'm going to close this hour out by saying this. Oh, by the way, tomorrow morning I'll be here on the Great 570 KLIF from 10 to 11 o'clock. Now, here's the way it goes. Friend, remember this. Every day you're given 86,400 seconds in your life. Use them wisely, and I recommend using it through real estate. I'm your host signing off for Real Estate Talk. That's another wrap, and we are out.